Hey there, Scott Sebring here. Uh, just going to do a really quick, down and dirty, stumble over my words and everything narration to some wonderful behind the scenes footage from the Batman television series. More specifically, the second part for the High Diddle Riddle episode, uh, Smack in the Middle, which has a burning car sequence. Anyway, this is all shot in Century City. Hey there, Frank. And right behind this hotel that was under construction, the Century Plaza Hotel, which, by the way, is still in Century City, but that hotel doesn't uh, get completed until June of 66. And those beige buildings in the background are actually sound stages to 20th Century Fox Studios, which sold off this land earlier in the 60s uh, just to try to help save the studio. Anyway, this dirt area is where they're going to be shooting the uh, car bursting into flames which is kind of amazing. Oh, by the way, that's Robert Butler, the director for Smack in the Middle and High Diddle Riddle. And all these cars are driving down a little side street called Solar Way. Anyway, this landscape back here with the vegetation, a little kind of dirt hillside stuff, uh, doesn't even exist well into 1966 uh, as it is level for parking. And speaking of parking, that's the Batmobile parked on the corner of Solar Way and Century Park Avenue before it's brought into the scene. And like I said, it's just kind of amazing that they do this scene with, uh, it's got a car bursting into flames right here on this side street, not too far off from all these looky-loos and these cars that have no idea what they're looking at because the series has not even aired yet. And, uh, but like I said, this area doesn't even see its way into mid-66 as it is leveled for parking. And even that parking lot that stood for years and years has been transform into multi-layer parking for uh, the Westfield uh, Shopping Plaza as well as the hotel. And uh, we just got uh, some crew here and people looking about. Uh, Bert seems to actually be in decent shape. He hasn't run off to the infirmary for the umpteenth time yet. It's going to be his near future. And like I said, it's just amazing to see some behind-the-scenes footage that, quite honestly, we just never get to see. And... Uh, Big kudos to bringing it to my attention years ago by uh, 66 board member A. Pennyworth. Uh, like I said, there was no audio for this footage, so I thought I would just kind of elaborate on a little bit. And by the way, if you know anything about the clubhouse anywhere in the L.A. area, if it's still standing, if it was part of the Beverly Hills Hotel maybe or something like that, uh, let me know. That would be awesome because I haven't been able to find squat. Thank you. Have a good one.